Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 742, we're going to talk about our first Forgotten Realms legend, Prosper the Tomebound. So for four mana, we get a 1-4 Tiefling Warlock. Those are uh, uncommon creature types. Uh, with Death Touch. Now, this is really intriguing me. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, you exile the top card of your library until the end of your next turn, you may play that card. And also... Whenever you play a card from exile, create a treasure token. Now, I know I focused a whole lot on playing things from exile. Um, there is a whole different... If I'd have had the treasure win cards the, to maximize your treasure, totally would have done it. But anyway, there are several ways that you can play things from exile. Um and I have probably missed a bunch. These are, are, are just the ones that I stumbled across. Rebound cards. Consuming Vapors. Uh, you exile it and then it plays again at the beginning of your next upkeep. So you are playing a card from exile. You also have Cascade. There's a whole mechanic there that we could have really gone around. When you cast your first spell from exile... or uh, I'm sorry... The first spell you cast from Exile has Cascade. Um, yeah. So Cascade, yeah. Never mind. Um, we have Suspend. Uh, you pay the Suspend cost to Exile it, and then it comes casting from that. So I used Rift Bolt, Thesis, and Hypocrisite, because it just won't stay dead. Then we have the good old classic, well... I just egg, Red's ability Red's quote unquote card drawing ability the exiling top cards of your library so you can play it so we have the Dark Dweller Oracle Sin Prodder Theater of Horrors Stromkirk Occultist Lot at the Stage and Wax the Chump Like a Candle Ignite the Future a lot of these uh, new cards in Forgotten Realms Commander, a lot of them are pretty good. You know, Tectonic Giant. Got to have Chandra Heart of Fire, you know. Commune with Lava. And then Dream Pillager. Oh, oh, I forgot one. Apex of Power. How, how do you... You forget that one, right? And then we have things that exile from your opponent's library. We're all players, you know. Gaunty. Uh, target opponent's library. Uh, you find some prisoners. Exile the top three cards of target opponent's library. The Dire Fleet Daredevil. Instant or Sorcerer from an opponent's yard. Share the spoils. Now, I did get a chance to, if you'll notice there, I did not do any, like, opening videos of the Commander decks. Well, that's because this time I played with them. Uh, our our weekly Commander night, I just I opened them up and I played those decks all night. Uh, and I actually got a chance to play Share the Spoils. It's a really interesting thing. Because we had six players and there will always be six cards in the thing unless somebody loses, which, um, yeah, it, it, it was very interesting. The Chaos Wand. Opponent Exiles. The, <laughs> the absolute pinnacle of this ability, Atali, Primal Storm. You know, each player's library. You know, you cast them for the free. Yeah... Fevered Suspicion is a new card. Each opponent. Fiend of the Shadows. Uh, combat damage. You know. Dead Man's Chest. And then lastly, Hurl Through Hell. Uh, which is pretty good. It, I mean, it's removal and... So, with that being there... That is uh, an awful lot of playing things from Exile. Um, about 
cranial plating is about the only thing I have to play off of the amount of treasures that we are getting. I would have loved to have had those um, big treasure cards. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, and as I get them, they uh, they have a home. So let's look at our mana fixing, shall we? We'll get into our regular categories here. We have a soul ring and a dark ritual. You know, soul talisman. I. I don't know what to think about this card. I don't think it's great, but I don't think it's terrible either. Uh, you know, it is very, very divisive card here. A, a lot of people think it's one way or the other. I think it falls somewhere in between. I don't know. I got a few. I'm going to try them. Uh, Expedition map, because there are things that we may want to go and get. Uh, Fire Diamond, Mind Stone, Talisman of Indulgence, Racto Signet. Look at that new art on the Commander Sphere. I'm telling you, that looks straight out of like a Borg vessel or something. Racto's Key Rune, Pristine Talisman, Seer's Lantern, Ever Flowing Chalice. Funny note here, when I build decks, I do it by casting costs, you know, a, a row for one, a row for two, and so on. And I typically put Everflowing Chalice in the four drop. Just because more times than not, that's what it's getting cast for, right? And the Dreamstone Hedron. Uh, a little bit of card draw, you know, Sign and Blood, Ambition's Cost, Painful Lesson. Unexpected windfall to try to get on that treasure thing. Uh, Forsworn Paladin. Um, just because makes that treasure, you know. And I like the... There's a whole category in AFR. If a treasure was spent to blah, blah, blah. I kind of like that. And then the bag of holding. For no other reason than it's a bag of holding. It doesn't really play to our... Um, I mean, because we're not playing those cards from exile. They come back to our hand. So uh, it's not, I'll be honest with you, it's in here because this is the first deck that I had from the Dungeons & Dragons set, right? Uh, and then we get to our removal. Ooh, of which there is a bunch, because, you know, I mean, it's red and black. We have Terminate. Power Word Kill. That's an awful lot of restrictions, but I think it's not going to matter. I mean, you know, unless you're playing against Kaya, <laughs> it's not going to matter as much as it looks like. Uh, Chain Lightning. Feed the Swarm. Chaos Warp. Doom Blade. Magic Missile. It that was a good call putting it in the set, but I have a uh, devour intellect. Bedevil got a reprint in one of the commander decks, so that was pretty nice. Uh, murder, grim bounty, the murder, but you're playing the extra one and a slower speed to get the treasure. So I, hex, oh I love hex, vandal blast, and my one salty card that I put in. Fireball. I don't understand how Adventures of Dungeons and Dragons Adventures of the Forgotten Realm got through all of design and development and Fireball did not make the cut. Fireball is a classic D&D spell. I'm not a hardcore D&D player and I know that Fireball is a classic D&D spell. So, yeah, I know they put it on the list for this set, but... That's kind of not the same, right? So, now we hit our non-basic lands. Uh, now, these first four of the the artifact lands, the the there's the duel, the Vault of Whispers, Great Furnace, and Dark Steel Citadel are to help out with the um, the plating. You know, we have a command tower, Rogue's Passage. Evolving Wilds. 
Terramorphic Expanse, Foreboding Ruins, Dragon Skull Summit, Shadow Blood Ridge, Canyon Slaw, Urborg Volcano, Alchem Refuge, Rakdos Carnarum, Bloodfell Cave, Rakdos Guildgate, and the Tainted Peak got the reprint. So, very not bad. Um, like I said, I I would have liked a little more treasure matter things, but um, this is this is what I had. So, uh, one more thing uh, I want to ask y'all about real quick is what do you think of these? Uh, instead of the big, the really big commander cards like they used to. They are printing these things, which are super thick. It's almost like foam board or, or whatever. And they are thick. Uh, I mean, what is that? Three or four magic cards in thickness? But I use them for the commanders because, let's face it, you can. It adds that extra thickness, you know? And I like that. But are y'all using them or am I the only one? Anyway, 742 is done. We'll put it on the wall. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to get through the the D and D legends as I can. Uh, I know uh, when this airs, this is 742. On a different note, this is my hundred and third day in a row of con consecutive days of daily content. Anyway, um, the set still won't be quite out yet. Uh, the commander decks we were able to get on pre-release day and then whatever we got in pre-release kits. So that's how I was able to get some of these and to finish them. But that is what I have got for today. I do appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think. Too many mouses. But we're going to go ahead and shuffle and cut. <laughs>